Hey good people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with a very different setup y'all, okay? Because I am going to be talking with you today about my February planner setup. It is all about how I prepare for a new month in my Louis Vuitton A5 size agenda. Now I started this series actually last year where I created a video about how to use your agenda to plan for success. I'm really a planner and productivity nerd. I love paper, I love stationery, all those good things, y'all, okay? And so I then created this year, in January, a video about my 2022 planner setup, okay? So y'all said, let's keep the party going. I said, girl, let's do it. So please look forward to more videos like this on my channel. I love creating them. I love talking about them, as you all will see here soon, okay? And if there are things that you are interested in, that you see in my planner or in my agenda that I don't cover in today's video and I don't share much about, it's probably going to be in that planner setup video. So please make sure you watch that one next. But in the meantime, if you are down for some style and self-care inspiration, make sure you are following me over on Instagram, girl, on the gram, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you do not miss a video and just keep watching. First up y'all, let's go through some of the small changes that I have made in my agenda since my 2022 setup. Nothing major, but I just realized recently that some of the things that I had in the very beginning, I just didn't need, I wasn't using. For example, the pocket folder that was on this side of different things, I, it wasn't getting used and I thought that if I wasn't using it, it would be better if to have just a little bit more of a streamlined look in the front. So February or January's cloth and paper box came, girl, and I used it as a time to just switch things around, okay? So here you'll notice on the left side is a new journaling card. It says create without boundaries. You can't see that there, okay? I have this start by starting card. This is actually on a piece of, I think this is called vellum. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of planner videos lately. So I think the girl's called this vellum girl. And it is in front of um, another journaling card that just has like a paint stroke here. This is my February calendar, very small. That also comes in the cloth and paper box, okay? And I have it here more for just as a reminder that it says February, I don't need the actual dates there. As I mentioned, I removed that plastic folder situation that was here and I included the newest dashboard from Cloth and Paper that says balance is not something you find, it's something you create, okay? Um, and again, just a very simple way to start off with my planner. Now, you may be asking, what did I do with all of my January inserts? I haven't removed the calendar yet, which is here. This is the gold page that I went over with y'all last month. I'm going to keep the monthly calendar here because I do find it helpful to just be able to go back y'all and just look at maybe there was a date that I want a reminder about or something that I did. So I'll keep this here uh, for probably the next three months or so. But what I did do is I removed my January schedule, which was here. So I took all of them out. This is actually a really good practice, y'all, to figure out what worked for you, what didn't, what you used, and what you didn't. For me, for example, this was in my planner all month, girl, and I did not use it one time. I just find these little small half page inserts are not very useful so I probably won't put that back in for February okay and this is actually all of my January inserts this actually started in December I didn't use it that week but I got started here and if I'm looking back and kind of seeing what days I, I use this the most when I felt like it was most helpful I think me and sis kind of really got in our groove probably sometime last week y'all because what I began to do was just start to use more of a, a layering technique. And y'all, I love that. I'm not a big sticker Holly Hobby person, but what I do realize is that I like to have different like pops of color that jump out, or I like to have just layers of washi tape or, you know, sticky notes that are going to make information stand out. And I especially did that 
this week and this is probably one of my favorite spreads that I have ever ever created um these little small half size sticky notes came in a uh, January subscription box from cloth and paper y'all already know everything you're seeing is coming from cloth and paper okay <laughs> and if I can I will link a few things down below I highly recommend if you were new to the game of planning y'all their subscription box you do not have to have a six ring a5 agenda you can use a disc bound agenda you can use a smaller agenda they have plenty plenty of variety but the sub subscription box is gonna put you in the game okay now it is a lot and so I have I think skipped mine twice in the probably about eight months or so that I have been using it so don't feel like you have to just hoard things however it is something that's going to get you anchored in all of your great supplies like different sticky tabs and some of these things are actually not sold on their website and so you have to get them in the subscription box which I'm all here for okay. Now as you can see Saturday and Sunday I don't really have much typically. And even on this Friday where it says no content I still ended up filming that day. However, it helps me to have these kind of big buckets of what I need to be focused on. My friend AJ was here, YouTube edits, not creating content even though I still did so, and preparing for a webinar that I'm moderating very soon. This is the kind of setup that I want to keep in mind for February. Now for folks who are wondering what to do with your old inserts, for me, I usually archive mine for about 90 days. I'm not a hoarder. I, I don't think I need them for more than 90 days. And so I just put this big paper clip here, just something small from Marshalls, y'all. And I actually have a bin that I like to keep like planning back stock supplies in. So these are usually spreads and things that I pull from uh, different dashboards, etc. Let me see if you can see that. And I will just put this in there and I'll just keep the stack going. And then within 90 days, I will take them and I will recycle them, okay? So let's talk about February, shall we? Let's go back, y'all, because I do want you to see what I ended up doing in the front. I still need to figure out my goals for the month, important dates. This side is going to be my habits. I should mention that last month, y'all, didn't get to a lot of these as far as filling them out day to day. One thing about me, y'all, is that I am not the greatest at any type of monthly spread. I'm great day to day, even week to week. But if you want me to go back and look at something for the month, eh, I'm just so so, okay? So hopefully this month I can do better with that. My habits will likely be the same. I'll make sure I fill those out here, make sure I fill my goals out. But one of the things that I've already started to do, y'all, is to fill out the month. And it's because I just have so much going on. Um, I'm traveling this upcoming weekend, for example. I threw some content here, but that's just because I was on a plane and I was bored coming back from Puerto Rico. Uh, typically, this is not the kind of spread that I would want my content to be on because it just changes so much. But it's there, alas. Um, any type of like important commitment I've tried to put on a sticky note. So like I'm going to preview the Dior uh, spring collection on the 10th down at City Center with my essay. Fashion week is this weekend. Don't know if I'm going but alas I uh, put it here just so I wouldn't forget. Again, traveling this upcoming weekend with my family. And then I'm also going to go to Florida over President's Day weekend. These little sticky notes here, they are reminders of my consulting work. I have a series of monthly calls. And yeah, every Sunday I produce a and release a YouTube video. And the same thing with Wednesday. So that's why that's there. And once again, you will see these small like page flags, different types of them. These are the new ones that came in this month's cloth and paper um, subscription box. And y'all, this pen we received as well. I have a Sharpie that I had used before. I don't necessarily love the nib on that. I think it's too small. This pen is perfect for writing on these type of plastic tabs because it is dual sided. And that's the side y'all that I typically use, but you also have that side as well, okay? 
I'm trying something new this month, y'all, in that I am going to try to keep all of my content inside of my LV agenda. And that's not something that I typically do. I have a separate planner, which I've discussed with y'all before for that. But I am out and about and on the go so much. And I love to sit down at my favorite wine bar, have a glass of wine, and kind of just you know, get my gears turning as far as content and creativity is concerned. And I don't want to have to always lug around multiple planners to be able to do so. I'm traveling a lot, etc. And I just want to have everything in one place. And so January subscription box and cloth and paper included this monthly admin page. And I wasn't sure what I was going to add to it, but I want to try to use it for content. Now these boxes are tiny. So as you can see, I've already started to try to fill things out and I've just kept it super abbreviated. <laughs> I have large handwriting, so we're going to see how this plays out, but I did include a key down here. So obviously these are the days the week starts on Monday. I have um, the little round dot sticker for YouTube that is the nude color one. Okay, I have the light blue for my Monday church announcements that I always share. I want to try to go live more consistently at 9 a.m. on a Monday so y'all know what's happening around the tribe over on IG. And then the purple one is reels. I'm not as disciplined about creating reels. I want to change that and hopefully being able to see things in black and white will help that for me. Okay. I don't have any important dates coming up or um, anything for next month yet, but that might change. Okay. So that is what I'm going to use my monthly admin insert for. And then this is just more of uh, um, the months. I usually keep this up until March or April y'all just in case something does come up. I have a place to write it down. Okay. And then when we get to schedule, I mentioned to you all before that my word for the year is mindful. Okay. And this starts our week. And so today is Tuesday when I am filming this and yesterday, obviously Monday, and I have my to do to do list up top. And then my agenda uh, of the day also went to bar class. So I should put that down there. Okay. And then my notes were the things that I just know, knew that I had to get done. Something else that's new is another weekly admin sheet. Okay. Uh, this is another new insert from cloth and paper. And I already have my weekly insert. You all know I use these. I purchased these at the beginning of the year. They are the dated inserts. But I figure because Andre and I are trying to eat more healthy, maybe I will use this this week for meal planning. Let's see how that goes. We will see. But Let's get started with jumping in y'all for the rest of this week planning. I want you to see what stickers I add, how I layer the planner for the week, and let's jump into it. I should mention y'all that I go back and forth between like an analog and a digital planning system. And so I say that this is analog. My calendar on my phone, of course, is digital, okay? So I always start with important dates, meetings, etc. here just because this is going to send me a reminder so I don't miss any calls, etc. And what I do then is transfer whatever is here onto my week. And that's important for me y'all because I'm not a 100% digital person. I would not go back and forth with my phone for taking notes for making to-do lists, etc. This is really just so that I'm not missing appointments and I send, you know, my team or my colleagues, my clients calendar invites to make sure we have the time set for our meetings and I then transfer it here. So you'll see me going back and forth from my phone to my agenda. Let's talk about the week y'all. So I filled in my to do's and my appointments for the rest of the week. On this left side, I just have some reminders of things that I want to uh, promote and post between YouTube and Instagram. 
I'm really trying to get into more of a rhythm as I mentioned over on IG. Although my YouTube content is very kind of, you know, every Wednesday at 6 p.m., every Sunday at noon, every Sunday at noon we're in the premiere chat. It's very calculated on schedule and regimented. I find that over on IG, I'm still very organic there, which is fine, I don't mind that, but it can cause some stress when I'm trying to figure out what to post when and so, I've started creating a couple things over here on the left hand side for me to keep in mind. Um, these things could change, it's not set in stone, but it's just, you know, my way of ensuring y'all that I have the content in a place where I can see it and pull from it when need be. When I'm operating my best, I also pre-schedule it in a tool like CoSchedule, but that's a different video about how I plan social media content, y'all. This was yesterday, got through the day pretty well. I should actually check off the fact that I did edit the vlog and actually finish that. Filming the February planning video now, so I'll check that off as well. Um, I also posted the Lady Clipper picture. That's a promotion that I'm doing with my barber. So I'll put that, um, also check that off, okay? Now, this little today, um, divider I think is so important because I don't have any top dividers besides the stickers that I use some cloth and paper and so it's easy for things to get lost and so this actually is a very very good tool to use I mentioned to you all that I was going to create my meals list so let me just bring that over here so you can see that um, I'm using this weekly admin page for that to Kept it pretty simple throughout, y'all. This is just so that we're not eating out and we have an idea of what's in the kitchen. I'm actually gonna go to the grocery store today. So where it says tasks, I've put the things that I wanna make sure that I pick up. I actually ran to the kitchen to see what we needed. And this morning we had oatmeal, uh, we have salmon left over, so we'll have that on a salad for lunch. And then dinner, uh, we make this black bean and tomato quinoa dish. And then as you can see, I kind of take whatever is for dinner and then I add it for lunch the following day so make chili tomorrow eat that for lunch on Thursday Thursday I'm actually leaving to go out of town but I continue to like add meals here because I do like to have something in the refrigerator for Andre to grab and go because she's so busy it just helps so that we're not uber eating door dashing fast food all of that Saturdays typically are free day we go to brunch, we go to lunch, we you know, we work out, we go to brunch after. So I don't put any specifications here. Obviously we'll eat at least two meals at home typically, but it's kind of the free day. Sometimes I just graze all day on snacks, child, to be honest. Trail mix is my favorite food, okay? Um, and then on Sunday, we try to clear out the refrigerator. So whatever is left over um, from the week, if it's still good, we wanna make sure we eat that on Sunday. So we'll see how this goes for the week. It's just, I think, a good reminder of ways to be mindful and conscious of eating at home, not eating out and eating as healthy as possible, y'all, okay? And this page is actually also two-sided. So the helpful part is I can look at what I ate this week and what we may still have and then start to plan around that for the following week, okay? And so let's see here. So this is like a week at a glance. This is Monday. This is the meal plan sheet. And then we go to Tuesday and Wednesday, y'all. And as I mentioned, I noticed last month that my favorite spreads were the ones that were kind of layered. And so that is what I have done here let me zoom out a bit okay and so at the top i kind of put my top priority i took a like a workplace efficiency class one time and they talked about the importance of having a big rock and a little rock or little rocks for the day and so these would be considered these would be considered my big rocks today the biggest rock is to film which i'm doing now uh, i have a few other tasks here and then my appointments don't start until noon i just have two calls today and and then in the afternoon, I'm using these little page flags just to keep in mind my smaller rocks. So I also need to create a flyer, y'all, for a live that I have coming up. Or no, a flyer for my two. Yes, for the live, but also for the YouTube video that's coming out tomorrow. And so these half page stickies are good for that because it helps me to remember what needs to go on the flyer. Let me just kind of zoom in so y'all can actually 
see that, okay? Obviously, I could have just written it on the notes page, but I like layer, I like texture, I like a little pop of color just to kind of amplify the things that are the most important, okay? Thursday, I am going out of town, and so I do have here just a very light schedule for the rest of the week, honestly, y'all. Um, I should probably also put a packing list insert here, which I do have from Cloth and Paper, just so I can remember to pack for the weekend. Um, but we are going to uh, Princeton and Harvard uh, for grad school visits with my cousin, who's like my nephew. I talk about him all the time. Y'all know Taylor. He is a soon-to-be graduate from the Clark Atlanta University, okay? So we're going on a grad school tour, um, and I have a few to-dos here on Thursday before I head out. I like to be ahead of schedule on my filming, so I'll make sure I film in the morning before we leave. Um, and it's probably going to be my luxury handbag video that everybody is forgetting. And as you can see here, again, I used this little note to remind me of the subject of the video. I probably have this written down so many other places, girl but I just want to have it at a glance when I sit down to create the video because this week, like this spread is probably what's going to be in front of me. So it's helpful to have the content there as well. Okay. And again, because I'm traveling the rest of the week, it's just super, it's just super light. Although I do have a little bit of content that I need to produce and be present for on Sunday. And that is the week. Let me show you all the packing uh, slip that I am going to fill out. And I'm going to actually put that. I'll put it here. All right, good people. So I filled out my packing list. I tend to organize my packing list, not by individual pieces, but by outfits. It's just how my mind works. So I kind of have outfits that I know I want to wear with whatever the top of the outfit is highlighted with gray and then all the pieces that I need underneath it. Um, these are the essentials that I definitely do not want to forget that I have a habit of forgetting. Things like gloves, it's gonna be super cold. Um, I have a gift for my best friend's daughter that I don't wanna forget. My chargers, tech equipment, stuff like that. Um, a section here for shoes, I'm gonna rotate in and out of three pair um, for the long weekend. Tech just is really chargers and my laptop. I'm not taking a camera because I won't be doing any filming. And then the same toiletries that I always take. I just put skincare here in a general category, y'all, because I keep my skincare for travel, the travel size pieces, already in a toiletry bag, just like ready to go. So just pick that up and I'm out the door. And that is the weekly spread. You have gone through my month, my week, my meals, everything that I need to get set up for February. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Again, if you wanna learn more about my planning process and my philosophy around planning for success, make sure you check out my other videos which will be linked down below. And in the meantime, I will see you get people across the internet. Peace.